everybody welcome back to the channel i'm elliot delp and today we're going to be doing a custom build review okay so if you know anything i love building out rifles i love the whole process and today we have something special from 801 weapon works we have a mark 12 clone it's a little bit modified to do some improvements and uh can't wait to tell you about them so disclaimer from the very beginning 801 weapon works did send this rifle out they were uh, they wanted to support the channel. They wanted to uh, kind of sponsor a video-ish. And uh, so they sent out this rifle, okay? Unthreaded Customs also did a good job on the rifle. They Cerakoted this thing. OD Green looks beautiful. So big shout out to both 801 Weapon Works and Unthreaded Customs. If you want to check them out, their Instagram links will be linked in the description as well as if you go to takesomeoutdoors.com forward slash links, you can find their contact info there. If you want to reach out to them, if you want to get this exact rifle built, you can just reach out to them and pick it up. You can get it done. And they're awesome to work with. Very good people. So uh, without further ado, Let's talk about the rifle. So this is the Mark 12. If you guys are unfamiliar with the Mark 12, this is, or that is a kind of military version of a 5.56 sniper rifle. Um, it's, it was used, I don't know if it's currently in rotation, I'm not military, uh, but I wanted a clone of it, or I wanted a look-alike of it. And I've wanted one for a while now. And when 801 Weapon Works reached out to me, um, I originally told them that's what I wanted. I wanted in 5.56. I wanted to do a video on the channel of a 5.56 Mark 12. And then I got to thinking and I was like, well, what's the fun in a, just a normal Mark 12 clone? I mean, it's not a clone correct anyway. So why don't we improve upon it? That's exactly what I did. I got this chambered in a six millimeter arc because six millimeter arcs new on the market. Hornady's new big round shoots further, shoots harder, shoots better than a 5.56. So I was like, let's chamber this thing in it and see how she does. See how she runs, how she performs, and I have no regrets whatsoever about it. This thing's been awesome. Obviously, it's not clone correct, so you don't have to tell me. But this is my ma arc 12 haha, because six millimeter arc. So let's talk about the features of it and how much it costs, what this runs you, how, how this is done, the whole shebang here. So this rifle comes in at about $1,750, so $1,750, all right? That is Cerakoted, that is the rifle built out, that is from 801 Weapon Works. Now, the way 801 Weapon Works works is they, uh, they price out your build and you go from there. Prices fluctuate, so if you can't get this rifle for exactly $1,700 right now, it's due to the market, due to different cost raising, but at the time this was sent out, that was the spec sheet cost of this rifle. So it's on par with a lot of six millimeter arcs out there. Um, that's right around what you pay for a stag. That's that that average cost is about seventeen hundred dollars. So let's let's talk about what you get for seventeen hundred dollars. All right, first the big green rifle here. You get a Cerakote. The uh, the Cerakote option was two hundred dollars from Unthreaded um, Unthreaded Customs. It's beautiful Cerakote, beautiful OD green. This is my first OD green rifle, and I can honestly say I fell in love with it. I've been an FDE person for a long time, and I think this is this has quite honestly changed my opinion on what's my favorite. It's absolutely beautiful, and here in beautiful Southwest Virginia, the green blends in perfectly. I couldn't be more impressed by it. Talking about actual rifle features and not just the paint, we have a Sotma Bead 5 
uh, stock here at the back. Awesome stock. I have several of them. They've always functioned really well. Um, great, great little stock. Uh, buffer tube, you have a pin castle nut, which is very good. You wanna look for that. You have a QD point right here at the back. This is a BCM QD point. Um, I run them on a lot of my rifles and I think a lot of people should include them like Stag or Diamondback or all those other companies that build out rifles. I think you should always have a QD point here at the back of the receiver. I think it's crucial. Um, moving on to the actual rifle itself, you have Magpul uh, grip, you have Radian safety selector, which this is a 45, really nice safety. It's ambi, awesome, all right? You have a Radian LT charging handle. I don't know if you guys have ever used a Radian charging handle, but it will change your life and you'll never go back. Rifle's obviously clear, um, let's send her forward. You have a Zevtech upper and a Zevtech lower, and that's kind of your upper and lower. The part, the random parts on the inside uh, are Radian, and then there is a Geisley two-stage G2S, I believe it is, trigger. I'll pop it up down below. Uh, awesome two-stage trigger. I mean, it's just clean and smooth and crisp. Geisley makes some awesome stuff, and I could not be more impressed with how smooth the trigger is okay and keep this in mind this is that $1,700 price point you get a Geisley trigger you get a Radian charging handle you get BCM QD you get a Radian 45 degree I mean it's just awesome 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 for the price so we have two things out past the upper receiver we have a um, let's see it's a Centurion Arms quad rail this is the 12 inch quad rail I wanted to keep it very similar to a Mark 12 uh, if you go look up photos online, you got that 12 inch quad rail and you have an 18 inch ballistic advantage, six millimeter arc barrel. Okay. And then a BCM gas block. So that's kind of the makeup of the rifle as I got it from, uh, from 801. We also have a suppressor. This is my own suppressor. So it came with a thread cover. It didn't come with a muzzle brake. So that'll fluctuate the price a little bit, but I ran this suppressor, it's the OG, been running it for a long time now. Got a sweet little uh, uh, can cover here from 701 Tactical, big, big shout out to them. And if you see in the uh, intro, that's the sling I was running to is the 7, uh, not 701, 80, what's, 1021. 1021. Cut, 1021 Tactical suppressor cover. Uh, he's getting ready to drop these, these are, I've been testing this one for a while now and it's been pretty great. And then the sling I was running in the beginning is a 1021 tactical uh, uh, sling, which also has ran really, really well. So that's kind of the build of the rifle. Um, I mean, just a stellar, stellar rifle. Oh, it's so smooth. Trigger's so good. Okay. On top of it, what do we have mounted? We have an Arkin Optics uh, SH4 Gen 2. So this is a four to 16 by 50 um, optic, super huge optic. This is a MOA scope, awesome, awesome optic. I was I haven't had any experience with Arkin before putting it on this rifle. And when I was doing my long grain shooting, I was very impressed with how good the reticle looked, especially when you're shooting five, 600 yards. Um, was overall just very impressed with the optics. So if you're ever on the fence and you're like trying to figure out whether or not you want to pick up an Arkin, I'd recommend giving her a try, especially for that $400 price point that this awesome scope comes in at. Okay, so without further ado, let's talk about how it performed, how it shot, how it did when I was taking it out to, uh, to distance and kind of my experiences overall with this custom AR-15. But before we do, I would like to give a big shout out to one of the ammo sponsors of the channel, Kerr Ammo. They did send out the six millimeter arc for this video. So big shout out to them. They're awesome people down there in Texas. Uh, I really appreciate all the support they have given me so far and uh, go check them out. If you want to check them out, take someoneoutdoors.com forward slash links. It's in the description. You can check them out there because they have a button up top. Give them a look. Okay, so how did this perform? Um, I've taken it out 
to the range several times. The first time I did a zero, I was messing with the zeros. I tried a 50 yard zero just because I know you're supposed to zero it at 100, but I tried a 50 yard, used the Straylock app and uh, was able to connect at like 400 yards the first time I took it out and was an awesome, awesome little, little shooter. Took it home, cleaned it, um, took it back out to the range. Um, this time we pushed about 500 yards, uh, 550 great shooter i was able to take my wife shooting with it and she was able to connect um, two of my buddies that aren't really long range shooters they went out and were shooting with it five six hundred yards and just repeatedly ringing steel we were using the accufire omnis spotting scope sweet spotting scope you should go check it out um, digital can record 120 zoom awesome awesome and that's where any of the long range footage comes from if you're popping it up here hunter in the post-production of us shooting the, the distance, that's where it came from. This this rifle did exactly what it was supposed to out to those ranges. It was it was great. In terms of accuracy or how well it shot, it was MOA, sub-MOA with the Hornady Black. I mean, that's all you can ask for. I mean, it's a, an AR-15 and they are not known for being super accurate, but the ballistic advantage barrel in this is great. Paired with a Geisley trigger, I mean, you really can't go wrong. I mean, most it, it could probably be more accurate than MOA if I wasn't shooting it. If a professional shooter was behind it, shooting very, very concise, great groups. Um, but for me, I was able to do MOA, and that's perfectly fine for me shooting out to five, 600, 700, 800 yards, or at any deer that I deem worthy to shoot at this with. So why would you pick up a Mark 12 inspired build? Because it's awesome. Because why not? Uh, there's no real purpose to having a Mark 12 clone lookalike other than it's just something you want in your collection. So that's one of the big reasons I wanted a Mark 12 inspired clone is because I really like the quad rail. I like the way the quad rail, quad rail looks. I like having, having the barrel extend a little bit further and just how it looks is really the whole purpose of it. Um, you can go get a better rail that's lighter, that's uh, more versatile. But if you have an AR with a lighter rail and it's more versatile, why not change it up a little bit? Get something a little different, get something nice, useful, um, and still practical. So I can still do everything with this rifle that I could with a standard like normal AR-15, but the features in this, the reliability of it, it's, it's, it's great. It can be used for hunting, long range shooting. Um, I guess you'd use it for practical self defense at home if you put maybe an LPV on it and didn't have a long swinging suppressor and a bipod. But I mean, that's kind of the general purpose of the rifle is just to be a good shooter and to have fun with and to enjoy and to uh, take out. So with all that being said, I think this was an awesome little build. I had a great time shooting it. And I think if you want anything custom done, reach out to 801 Weaponworks. So uh, they, like I said, they handled this whole thing. We went back and forth on what we what I kind of wanted. And we went over different types of uh, rails and different types of lower receivers and barrels and just everything. And they'll work with you. If you know what type of rifle you want, if you know what kind of purpose you want for the rifle, if you have like a uh, kind of like clone you want to do, like if you want to do kind of a Mark 18 or a Mark 12, they'll work with you on all of that. And they can get it all set up. They can build it for you. They can ship it out to your FFL. And um, I, was, I was very impressed by it and very impressed by the process. So I'd really recommend checking them out. And a big thank you to them for sending out this rifle. So I think that about does it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the little Mark 12 clone we have going on here. Um, you'll see more of it if you check me out on Instagram. There you can see all kinds of photos that I've taken or that my cameraman's taken that we've used while we are testing this whole thing. And uh, also that's where I post my deals. So if you want to like catch a good deal on a scope, you can check me out on Instagram, do a little swipe up story. Uh, that's where you check all that stuff out at. Okay, so I really appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one. As always, take someone outdoors. Peace.